recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I thank our witnesses for being here today. Mr. Baumgarten, with the new NLRB rules that shorten the time between union petitions and elections, do you have, feel that employers are likely to require even more assistance in legally and effectively communicating with employees about both sides of the decision to unionize? One of, one of the great uh, myths that has been created is that uh, employers uh, lie in wait and, and plan and practice and, and, and hire consultants and hone their message months in advance uh, of a petition filed with the NLRB. And uh, my experience and the experience of many of my colleagues has been just the opposite, is that very often uh, employers are uh, very surprised to receive uh, a representation petition. And that's particularly true for smaller employers uh, who, who uh, don't have the sophistication to really understand what may be going on in the workplace. We now have a regime where, as has already been alluded to, the NLRB uh, has created an environment that makes it more and more difficult uh, to uh, e effectively respond to a representation petition uh, by virtue of, of the rules that preclude uh, pre-election hearings, by virtue of the micro-unit rules, and by virtue of the ambush election rules. Uh, an election can be held now in as little as 11 days from filing uh, of the petition to the election. Uh, and uh, in, in general, I think the latest statistics show that it takes about uh, 20 days or so, down from 38 days uh, prior to uh, the ambush election rules last year. So employers are already um, behind the eight ball, so to speak, uh, in, in respect of their ability to understand what's going on, to develop a message, to understand what's legal, to understand what's going to be effective, to understand what should be communicated, what is the message that employees want to hear. And, you know, there's, a, a, I think, a, a fundamental misunderstanding of what this rule will provide. When a company that doesn't have in-house experience uh, and doesn't have prior experience with a representation campaign receives a petition, what do they do? They call their lawyer and they say, what is this? And they find out what it is. And the very first question, if not the first question, then the second question is, what should I say to the employees? What should I say? The answer to that under this rule will be, I can't tell you, because if I tell you, we will both become persuaders. And pending resolution of what goes on with the LM21, which the department has played hide and seek with, I, as a lawyer, may then have to disclose information, privileged information, about the identity of all of my other labor relations clients. That is an unworkable system. Thank you very much, um, Ms. Sellers. I'd, I'd like to go a little farther on the comments Mr. Baumgarten talked about. Um, let's talk a little bit about the impact on employees. Um, tell us about how an employer being better prepared and, and informed about labor issues benefit, em, benefits the employees. What are some of the unintended consequences of the new rule for employees? Thank you for the question. It's a, a very good question because my heart is in education of supervisors, and I know you have a, a wonderful background also in employee education. Uh, supervisors that I normally deal with, with my small employers, are not people that came from colleges with MBA degrees. As a matter of fact, most small employers can't afford to hire the best and brightest with the biggest degrees. A lot of them grow their own and they have to hire them from within. In many cases, they want to hire them from within. They have good people who are technical people, and now they've placed them in a supervisory role. They have no other knowledge. So with my training, I work very hard to give them basic information, including the labor information, such as making sure they, they don't say the wrong thing that could eventually result in an unfair labor practice. Proper education of supervisors will result in an engaged workplace where you will really have, this sounds 
Um, it sounds like uh, very naive, but the truth is you will have much happier employers, employees if you have well-trained supervisors, and as a result, you'll have more successful organizations that will then create more jobs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Time is